Hey, Snake. Something I've been meaning to ask you. That canyon. Isn't that where you demolished Raven's tank? How'd you do it, anyway? How? Uh, well... Grenades. That's it? You didn't use an anti-tank missile or something? Didn't have one. Your technique is kind of... Well, how do I put this? Archaic when it comes to fighting tanks. Honestly, I don't think it'd work on today's main battle tanks. Well, that's how I did it. What do you want me to say? You know, I asked an active duty army officer once. If an infantryman had to take on a tank one-on-one, -on -one, how should he do it? And what was his answer? Don't. He swore there's no way in hell a single infantryman could take down a tank by himself. Huh. Interesting. I always suspected there was a little something crazy about you, Snake. But hearing that story, now I know it. You're nuts! Single-handedly taking out a tank? That's crazy! You're insane! Otacon, is this your idea of a compliment? Yes! You're the toughest, craziest, most hardcore badass on the planet! You're... the shit! Need something? What's up, Doc? I'm impressed, Snake. You're keeping your psych up better than I expected. Maybe you were right about not needing my help. <laughs> Snake, the gauge below your life gauge is your psych gauge. Yeah, you told me about that. Then you'll hear it again. The psych gauge affects the rate at which your life gauge recovers. In other words, how fast your wounds heal. It also greatly influences how well you perform various actions. When your psych gauge is full, your life recovers quickly and you shouldn't have any problems doing what you need to do. Remember, your body isn't the only thing driving your performance. Your mind is every bit as important. Hey, I don't let my mental state affect my combat efficiency. You may think that, Snake, but the truth is, you're... you're not as young as you used to be. Hmm. <laughs> Could've fooled me. It's your psych that's keeping you alive inside. So you better take it seriously. Keep a close eye on your sight gauge. All right, all right. Finally! It's just up ahead. The hangar's just a little bit further. Stay en route.
Hop on, Snake. I'll send her up. Afraid so. Unfortunately for you, the railgun is no longer here. Naomi! This place will be your grave, as my queen wishes. The suicide gecko are on their way. Soon, there'll be nothing left of this place. We've been had. All gone. Snake, I think I might be able to get it working. I just need some time. Hurry! I'll leave the rest to you. Naomi! Care of Rex. You take Vamp. Kill that monster. Get Naomi back, Snake. Please. Two of this. Is this your best? <laughs>
it, Snake! Nano 
machine swim through my veins. <laughs> Never keep me down.
bullet through their brains.
was never immortal. His natural healing abilities were enhanced by the nanomachines inside his body. But, after so many battles, he's finally reached his limit. Doctor, he's my pain. <laughs> Asked me to tell you something. What is it? I cooked them right. I see. Good for you, Sonny. You finally did it. No, I can't save you. You have to trust me, Dr. Emmer. Give this to him. Not for revenge, but to end his suffering. Nor can we forgive it. And so the only thing we can do is end it. Snake. Huh. Liquid's down below us. He's stolen the Patriot system, slipped out of their sight, and taken their Ark. Ark? A warship. Unfettered by land, law, country, or network. The only place where they are truly released from the shackles of the Patriots. The place where they can be free. Outer Haven. Outer Haven? Liquid plans to launch the nuke from that ship. Snake, you have been given life so that you may fulfill your purpose. When all of this is over, you'll have no choice but to accept death. We are given life only so that we can atone for our sins. Your life was created for that very purpose. We all must atone for our own sins. We must not pass them on to the next generation. We must not leave them for the future. That is your true fate. One that even you cannot defy. Vamp and I 
We are the same. We're living corpses. Our bodies kept barely alive by nanomachines. Then you... Cancer. I shouldn't even be alive right now. The nanomachines have kept it from progressing. But there's nothing more they can do. With the nanomachines gone, time will unfreeze and begin to flow again. What are you saying? Goodbye. Time's running short, so I'll explain as we go. Pay close attention. I'm listening. 